first of all the ligand molecule binds to the ligand binding site in the receptor present in the cell's plasma membrane as a result the inactive g protein called gp releases its bound gdp and binds to gtp as a result the g protein becomes active here the p in the gp stands for activation of phospholipase c the active gp then activates a form of phospholipase c known as c beta the active c beta then cleaves phosphatidyl inositol 4,5 bisphosphate or PIP2 a phospholipid present in the plasma membrane into the diacyl glycerol or DAG and inositol 1,4,5 triphosphate or IP3 the IP3 is water soluble in nature both DAG and IP3 acts as second messengers in variety of signal transduction pathway after cleavage the ip3 is released into the cytosol and there it triggers the release of calcium ions from intracellular stores like endoplasmic reticulum the dag remains in the plasma membrane where it activates the protein kinase C or PKC. Please like, subscribe and press the bell icon to see more videos on my channel.